Hello and welcome back to Kingdoms of Amalur. We are here in Edessa and we are about to go see Templar Joriel. Possibly she will tell us to screw ourselves. Is that Formaris? Is that my dad? Hey! Hold right there, newcomer. It's not. I welcome you to Edessa, but before you enter, I must catalog your visit. Please answer the questions as truthfully as possible. It's imperative that our tallies be accurate. Now, what brings you to Edessa? How about I just punch you in the gut? Um, who are you? Excuse my rudeness. I am Sinar Bruges, Talier second class to the Domus Politica. My purpose is to sort those that come to Edessa, to welcome them to the city while maintaining the delicate balance we gnomes have achieved. Cool. Um, what's with these questions? They help sort the newly arrived in the city. We want to ensure that everyone is placed where they properly belong. That's just weird. You're one tiny, tiny man that I could take out so easily. I'm gonna t I'm, a I'm here on personal errands. I just came here to get some milk, some famous Edessa milk. Yes, well, at least you look more put together than some of the people that came here before you. Poor sods. With any luck, your errands go without incident. Now, where have you come to Edessa from? I can't remember. Um... That- that's- that was a long time ago, Felipe. It's like you're calling up your hard- horrible childhood. Okay, let's say that. F f for Morris Hughes? You mean to say you've come from Alistar? Yes, I, I see it now. They were wrong about your nose, but you match the description of the one I was to look out for. We can dispense with the remainder of my questions. You are free to enter Edessa. Sandstone Villa will serve as your lodgings. Temporarily. Thanks. Um... What do they say about my nose? This is rare, newcomer. Very rare. If I can speak frankly, I'm not sure this is the blessing you take it to be. True, you have been saved from the squalid lodgings of the Hospitalis Quarters. But Sandstone Villa is reserved for... Uh, well, it is not my place to speak of it. This key will provide you with access to the villa. You would do well to be very aware of your surroundings, stranger. Now, good day. Is it full of body whores? Let's ask him. Not everyone is given a villa just for arriving here. But I'd be careful. A gifted necklace can easily be a golden chain. That was, uh, weird. Um, tell me about your little groupie group. The Domus is where all of Odessa's political work is done. The Templars determine the policy, and it is there that we enact it. Cool. Tell me about yourself. The Domus Politica has me tallying and sorting all new arrivals to the city. Another few years, and I could be Talia, first class. Oh, good for you. All right. Yes, you are now officially recorded as having entered Odessa, center of all gnomish society in the Feylands. Tell me more about Odessa. I'm sure you'll learn about the city the more time you spend in it. It is vast, but well-designed. That's what I always look for in my city. A well-designed city. Bye. Yes, yes, go on. I am. Look at him. Like, he was he was expecting to keep me out of the city. Bye. All right. Let's keep going. Um, what is... The Templar Joriel is over here, so... I'm still going in the right direction. Look at all these citizens and all these buildings. There are only, like, two of them, but whatever. All right. Should I go to my house first? I think it's, like, right here. Is this the Sandstone Villa? Yeah, I'm gonna go in. Cool story. Okay, so what is wrong with this place? There's a guy who wants to give me a quest right away. Do I want to talk to him? Yeah. What's your name? What was that? So, you're the one that's come from Alistar. I've waited more than a while for you to show up. I'm Bruton, the Canis Bruton of the Praetorians. I've been stationed here for your protection. You're not going to be able to protect me either. Templars! Gnomes don't have kings or mayors or theocrats. There's a caste whose sole duty it is to lead the rest of us. Though it can lead to turmoil, sometimes. Felipe's going to break his neck looking at all these gnomes. Tell me about this place. Wait, the palace for an outsider? No offense. But this gilded collar of yours has a long chain. How would you had find it where it leads? 
before it becomes a noose. All right, uh, what are the observers? In Odessa, wars are fought with papers and politics. And if you're being watched, that means somewhere, someone wants something. Thanks. Tell me about yourself. I'm Decanus of the Praetorians. I've been ordered to keep you safe within the city, which would admittedly be easier without someone breathing down your neck. Meh! You're not gonna come out with me or anything. Uh, Odessa? The city, our leadership, the Templars, don't see eye to eye. They have separate allegiances and conflicting motives, and it seems like you're in the middle of them. Yes, I'm always in the middle of everything. What are you gonna protect me from, sir? I won't lie to you, long legs. You being housed here is because someone wants to give an eye on you. I don't even know who it is. But I can tell you one thing. A gnome who keeps secrets in this city isn't up to anything good. Better to track them down before you or anyone else gets hurt. Luckily, looks like I'm not the only one that noticed your arrival. Got some letters here from the other concerned parties. Could be some leads. Did Aelin Shear pay for my room and board? Um, so your name's Decanus Bruton. Decanus ain't my name. It's my rank among the city's Praetorians. And it's what's keeping you safe. Thanks, Decanus. Who's so interested in me? It's Aelin Shear. My orders come from high, that's all I know. You ask me, only a Templar is the kind of pull to set you up here. Good luck trying to learn any more than that. If a Templar wants to remain anonymous, they have the influences to pull it off. It's not farmers? Why do I need security? Because someone important enough in this city said you needed it. You're being watched. Either you charm someone high up or you piss them off. Either way, they don't want you on your own. I charmed them, believe me. Give me my letters. Hey, and here they are. Talking with any of their authors should get you in the right direction. I won't lie to you. I'm sticking my neck out here, helping you the way I have. But I won't stand to let any one gnome ruin the greater good of my people. Need anything else, talk to my Lou. He's been stationed as your retainer while you stay in the villa. Are there all... Hey, everyone. I have 68 letters. Uh, is this a town full of gnomes? Yeah, Peace yeah, out. My Lou at your service. Is it my Lou? My Lou? Hey, my Lou! All right, I'm not going to talk to him yet. I'm going to go upstairs and see if there are any body whores waiting for me. I doubt it. All right. All these rooms just look really big and full of nothing. Can I just loot everything? The answer is no. All right. This way, there's like a healing person here. Is it Milu? Yeah, it's just Milu. They want me to talk to Milu. Um, there's something against this back wall over here. I want to get in. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, let's go talk to Milu just because I can't jump off the edge. I've been playing a lot of Dragon Age again, uh, Inquisition, so I'm used to their controls. And I'm used to being able to just jump off anything I want to. You hey, Milu. Master. I am Milu. I am here to manage the household affairs of Sandstone Villa, should you have any need of my services. Okay, um, you can heal me, but I do I need it? Sure. Heal me! Thanks, Milu. Um, tell me about yourself. I am a servant, and the manager of Sandstone Villa. I also have some knowledge of the medical arts, should you require them. I did, thanks. You made me feel really, really swank. Healing services? As preparation for managing this household, I attended some of the humoral and physiological dissertations of Vian Severus. He's quite the healer. And now, so am I. You're also awesome. Tell me about Edessa. The city is yours to explore, should you wish. The amount of freedom you are allowed is not normally granted to outsiders. It's because I'm cool. All right, peace out, Milu. Farewell, master. Bye. Um, I'm going to go outside again. You. Stop it, Bruno, or whatever your name is. You. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this kid's table shit. All right. I am going to see Templar Joriel. To see why I'm so awesome. And everyone is bowing to me. They're not. But I just want to well, know. Why, why um, these people seem to think I have what? a... What? Why they seem to think I have a thing on my head. 
and that I need special treatment. All right, where is my... There's someone in here that I have to speak to about a different quest. Hi. Are you... You have come. The new guest of Sandstone Villa. Thank the gods you've arrived. I'm Kordan Passant, a scrivener of the Domus. I have need of your help to solve a rather delicate situation. Do you need me to scratch your STDs? What are the walls? Normal society is led by few who rely on the efforts of many. Here in the walls, we work so that they are free to lead us more effectively. Cool. Your little tassel is very distracting. Phone call. Be right back. Okay, everyone seems super concerned about the Templars. What do you have to say about them? The Templars exemplify what's great about our people. Wisdom, ingenuity, bravery, and justice. All right, um, gnomish neutrality. The gnomes do not acknowledge war as an acceptable circumstance. We cannot condone either side until a peace is reached. The benefits either side may gain from such conflict are short term when compared to the decades of rebuilding and fortifying that such a war will necessitate. Smart. Tell me about this place. The Domus Politica handles all of the documentation that's needed to support the Templar diplomacy. All right. Um, tell me about yourself. I've been a Scrivener in the Domus for over 10 years. I'm often called upon to compose official correspondence and letters of a diplomatic nature. Cool. Tell me about the city. Many of us come far from our homeland for the opportunity of success. A new city opens up societal ranks. Oh, why do you need my help? I was asked to write a letter of uh, contingency. Should things for the Alpha turn dire, it would establish a known peace between Edessa and the Tuatha armies. It was never meant to be sent, only prepared, but was accidentally taken by the courier. It must be recovered. I can do that, but I hope it's not a timely matter, because I won't be going to do it right away. The letter said Head Scrivener. How do I know that? Ah, yes. There was a tad of uh, artistic license that I took when drafting that correspondence. I needed your attention by any means. I apologize for the deceit, but I assure you my business is genuine. Ah, okay. He was talking about the letter that we got when we got to our house. So he's one of the people that I was... Okay, I get it now. I didn't really read the names for, like, comprehension, so I didn't know who I was supposed to be seeing, but I guess he's one of them. Why is it up to me? You are not constrained by gnomish protocol. I cannot complete this task myself. Should anyone see me correct that mistake, it would not only cost my reputation, but the reputation of the gnome that ordered I write that letter. I am bound to preserve our integrity. Yeah, I like you, man. I'm gonna do it. Um, how'd you know who I am? Like, it's not obvious. I was the one that processed the paperwork which established your placement in Sandstone Villa. I know who put you there, and that's why I left that letter. Well, tell me who put me there, then. Tell me! Alright, where do I start? You need to find the courier. It was a traveler by the name of Parwan Well. She said she was making her way to the theater. But she might have stopped in the Traveler's Camp on Apotir. Sun Camp is the name, I believe. Cool. All right. Bye. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. I guess I'm going up here. Where am I going? I'm trying to follow the map, and I'm doing just a piss poor job of it. I really do think it's up here. Yes. All right, um, I have to get in that little area. I don't really know how to do that. Is it upstairs, or...? What's the deal, bro? Yeah, it is. It's all the way around the edge here. Hi, Praetorian. Hi! Yes? What do you want? I am not in the habit of making conversation with strangers, especially one of your stature. Please be quick. Eat it! Templars. From their council in the forum, the Templars guide the advancement of our society. Our tremendous successes are due to their unswerving pursuit of knowledge. Each Templar is allowed a wide degree of freedom in the projects they sponsor, but they are ultimately accountable to the rest of the forum. 
All right, tell me about my house. It is an estate that I have ordered to be kept empty for when I have need of it, such as now. So you're the one who put me up? Whatever, tell me about gnomes. Unlike the lofty idealism of the Alpha and the messy pragmatism of the humans, we gnomes proudly embrace the virtues of reason and order. As such, we must maintain neutrality in these periodic wars that spring up. We cannot risk tainting our knowledge by taking sides. You understand? I understand taints. The shining jewel of knowledge. An oasis of reason and order carved by the gnomes into the dusty wilds of Detir. Okay, so this is a gnome city. For some reason, I just... I was like, why so many gnomes? Look, it must be a gnome city. But was I told that and I just don't remember? Probably. All right, Templar Octien is a criminal. I see. Think very, very carefully about what you are saying. Octien is a Templar. He is in a position of the highest authority. And who, may I ask, are you? For you to accuse Octien without having a direct confession is not only meaningless, but contrary to all our procedures. You're meaningless. I'm motherfucking Duke Felipe. Um... I want to say I'll bring him to justice alone, but I know that the second answers are usually the... I'm trying to make him a good guy. Um... I think it's going to lead to the same end anyway, so I'll just say the top one. Even if this were true, or even already suspected, it would have to be corroborated by Octian himself. That requires a confession. As he is not here to present the charges himself, I must assume that no such confession exists. Now, I have done all I can for you. Please, trouble me no further with this matter, especially with such insufficient evidence. That's, uh, really stupid. Like, every crime that a Templar makes, they have to confess to it before people will take them seriously. That's dumb. Alright, bye. I am going to go, um... I'm not going to do it now. Now I'm going to end the episode. But I'm going to go kick some Octian ass. And hopefully I'll get to come back and kick Joriel's ass, too, because she's an idiot. Alright. Unless she's just, like, playing coy so that I'll go take care of it. Which seems likely, but... That's mean. Hello. I'm here to send regrets on behalf of Templar Joriel. While she wishes to extend you aid, she's stymied by protocol. What she gave you was an official response. I'm here to give you another response. A personal one. That's what I thought was going to happen. Like, that she wasn't allowed to say anything because the eyes are always on her. Um, who are you? I am a political aide for Templar Joriel. I operate in a number of capacities for the Templar's official and unofficial business. Cool. Um, I'm just going to say what are you talking about, even though I know. My superior has suspected for some time the crimes that you've levied against Templar Octien. But like you, she is frustrated by his status. Allow me to be direct. If you can make Templar Octien publicly acknowledge his crimes, then Templar Joriel will reward you. She will be your patron of sorts. I like it. Um, tell me about your... I was about to say your mistress, which sounds like they're fucking. They might be. My superior is a very, very busy person. It is unfortunate that some wrongs escape her notice, and those she does notice cannot always be immediately righted. All right, tell me about yourself. I am an aide to Templar Joriel. Usually, my work takes the form of drafting letters, taking notes of various functions, and so on. Cool. I like you a lot, actually. I like your sideburns. I think they're swank. I think that we should have a sideburn party. Tell me about the city. The city is a marvelous place. Recently, my work has taken me farther from its walls for more often, and I'm sadder for it. What am I supposed to do? I know that already, so I'm not going to ask. Bye. So that seems a good place to end. I'm happy that you came to me, Furo. Is he just going to disappear through the door? Let's watch him. That's exactly what he did. Okay, so when I get back, I'm going to take care of this Joriel Octien bullshit. But right now, I'm going to go. I hope you're having a lovely day, and I'll see you next time on Kingdoms of Honor the Reckoning. Oh.